Here are the top five things you need to know when planning your trip to Hocking Hill State Park. Before we get started, my name is Laura and I just finished up a year traveling to all 50 states and 52 national parks. It's easy to say that I enjoy being outside and I really love a good hike, which has brought me to Hocking Hill State Park. Hopefully by sharing these tips, you'll be able to better plan your trip, avoid the crowds, and capture some amazing views. Now let's jump in with the basics. Hocking Hills State Park is located about an hour south of Columbus and 20 minutes from Logan, Ohio. There's no entry fee to enter this state park, which means it gets pretty busy, but it's also a great place to visit. Tip number one is to come to Hocking Hills prepared to hike. There are six specific hiking units in Hocking Hills. Each one has its own parking lot and facilities. Each hiking unit does have multiple trails, so I would recommend grabbing a map that tells you about each trail, including distance and difficulty. There's short and long trails at Hocking Hills, plus easy, moderate, difficult, and accessible. So if you stop and grab a map, you'll be able to plan out everywhere that you want to hike. Tip number two is to know the hiking rules. The majority of the trails at Hocking Hills are one way, so you'll wanna be ready to do a full loop and you'll need to make sure that you're following the signs to go in the correct direction. Most of the trails at Hocking Hills do allow dogs, but some do not, so make sure that you pay attention to where you're at and if they're allowed before you get your dog out of the car. That rule is to preserve the trails and protect wildlife, so you really wanna pay attention to it. You'll also notice pretty quickly that there's no swimming or wading allowed in the park. So even though it might look easy to cross a river or stand under a waterfall, it is not allowed. You'll have to stick to the rivers and streams that you're used to. Tip number three is to know the landscape that you're going to see. The beauty of Hocking Hill State Park is the cliffs, the waterfalls, and the caves. But these are recessed caves. So famous places like Old Man's Cave and Ash Cave are all recessed caves. These have a huge sandstone overhang and are not fully enclosed. So you don't need to bring flashlights or headlamps. If you are looking for something that is more traditionally cave-like, make sure you check out the Rock House Trail. This one is almost completely enclosed. Tip number four is that Hocking Hills has a beautiful campground. It fills up fast, so you'll want to reserve as soon as possible. But they have cabins, full hookup sites, electric sites, non-electric sites, and group sites. The campground also has a nice shower house, so you'll be taken care of while you're there. Tip number five is to check out the John Glenn Astronomy Site. This huge open area is a great place to check out the stars any night of the week, but on the weekends during the summer, the park volunteers bring out telescopes and you can stop by for free and check them out. This is just a five minute drive from the campground, so it is the perfect spot to check out the night sky. Hopefully this has helped you plan your trip. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you've been there before, let everyone know in the comments what they need to check out. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe if you're looking for more places to go visit, and I will see you on the next adventure.